What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, let's talk this Jown and Bape collab. So stay tuned. Open one day, I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive in today's video. Today, we're talking to John and Bait collab. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip, flip, or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, if I'm saying the name wrong, forgive me. It's like literally like four different J's, right? I want to say sound almost, but it starts with a J. So I'm gonna say Jown, right? And I know what Bape is. So it seems like they got a collab, right? Okay, now retail price hasn't been put out there just yet, right? In fact, these aren't even loaded up on Sock X yet. Now this is set to release. This sneaker is set to release February 5th to the best of my knowledge, right? Okay, now the reason I had to do this shoe is because Bape has always had that low key hype, right? Okay, now I'm not familiar with the brand Jown, but obviously if they're working with Bape, they gotta be doing something right, okay? They're also, right, there's gonna be a release of a hoodie and a college t-shirt. Now, on StockX, the hoodie and the t-shirt is loaded up. I know the hoodie for a fact is reselling average and about $800 and up, so that lets me know it's some hype going on behind the scenes. Somebody's wanting this material, right? Okay. Even though I'm not even really familiar with it, but I'm 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 feeling the merch for sure, man. But for right now, I think I'm gonna take my chances on the website. Now, websites, I know it's loaded up on the John website, and I know they're on the Bape website, right? Okay. Now, I I, I can't help but mention this about Bape, right? Okay. It is literally an Air Force One with the Bape logo. I'm sorry, and of course on the back they have John wrote on the hill, but I just wonder, I often wonder, right? And I know this is kind of off mode, why Nike never went after Bape? Or if they did, how did that really, I, I just don't see how that went well. Maybe because Pharrell used to kind of put on for Bape a lot, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, but I, I, I'm i sorry, I just gotta like, I just gotta ask. But anyway, man, back to the topic at hand, as everything in the background goes on as I shoot this video, this is something I wasn't expecting, but I'm actually kind of excited. Now, I'm a sucker for white, and y'all know me, I'm a sucker for gray. That is two one of my favorite colors. So, in a perfect world, I am very, very happy with this, but I can't say that I'm happy enough where I'm willing to pay resale price. Now, if I had to guess what the retail price on the sneaker is going to average, based off the history of Bape, I would say they're gonna average somewhere around about $285, $300. I'm gonna lean more towards the $300 price range, but don't cool me on that. I am making my best educated guess on this. Overall, retail wise, I may go for these guys. To be honest, I may just roll for the for the t-shirt, man. Y'all know me, I'm always in white tees. I need to have something else up here, man. Y'all know the kid, man. But anyway, man, overall, I'm gonna definitely put this in the drip category, but Safe to say this is gonna head to the flip category of if the sneakers sell on the resale market like these t-shirts and this hoodie is averaging, yeah, somebody finna eat, man. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm very surprised about this. Kinda caught me off guard and I really wasn't expecting this, but right now it's loaded up on the John website. I don't think they're gonna load it up on the Bape website until the day of the release, which is February. Now on the Jow website, I think they're gonna be releasing 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, but don't quote me on that. Just go to the Jow website and check it out. And again, if I'm saying that name wrong, feel free to correct me down in the comment section, but neither here nor, here nor there, man. I think this is a nice, good hype release to, you know, it's been kind of quiet this year in 2022, man. I think this is a nice, subtle way to start off the hype this year. But that's pretty much what all I got for you guys, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. Really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out. <laughs>